This is Matt from Investor Quant. Today is Monday, January 13th, 2020. And on Friday, the ES gapped up, pushed higher, and then started selling all afternoon, creating a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. Now, a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern is when the body of the candlestick engulfs the prior day's body of the candlestick. And since it closed below the open, it creates a red candlestick, which is considered the bearish pattern of the engulfing pattern. So let's take a look at what happens after that bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. I've got the ES selected here. The setup is intraday open. I'm going to change the trade type to long. And then I'm going to add the price pattern candlestick day after bearish engulfing. If I click equals there, it'll add it. And we will be able to test the results of going long the day after the bearish engulfing pattern. So these results are based on going long at the open of regular trading hours. I've got stop and target both set to end of day, which means it is exiting at the close of regular trading hours. As we can see here, the results are not all that bearish. In fact, it has a bit of a, a bullish bias to it. Historical win rate is close to 58%, so about 58% of these closing above the open the day after the bearish engulfing pattern. All right, let's go into indicators and add an indicator to put it in a bit more of a bullish environment since that was happening almost at all-time highs. So I'm just going to put the 10-day uh, moving average is above the 200-day moving average so we can see what it looks like in a more bullish environment. We will run it again here and looks fairly similar. Uh, win rate is still hanging out around 58% uh, when going long the next morning at the open of regular trading hours and exiting at the close of regular trading hours. So just want to do this real quick and show you that the uh, bearish engulfing candlestick pattern is not quite as bearish as it sounds. Hope you found that interesting. Uh, come back soon and we will do this again.